Welcome to the Approximating the Area Under the Curve video tutorial. Example 1. Let A be the area of the region under the curve f at x equals x squared between x equals 1 and x equals 4. Use the Riemann sums tutor to estimate A of 5, which is estimating the area under the curve with 5 rectangles. Estimate the area under the curve with the method of using right endpoints. Step 1. Load package student calculus 1. This can be done by going to tools, load package, student calculus 1. Go to the next line. Enter the function in math mode. Click on math mode and begin entering in the function. Go to context menu and right hand side to obtain the right hand side of the equation. Step 3. Go to context menu, tutors, calculus single variable, and Riemann sums. This is the Riemann sums tutor. Step 4. Modify the n, a, and b values. Because Maple automatically graphs a function using default values, we're given that the graph begins from x equals 1 to x equals 4. In other words, it begins from a equals 1 to b equals 4. And we're supposed to use five rectangles to approximate the area under the curve. So let's change n equals to 5. And also, we're supposed to estimate the area under the curve using the right endpoints method. So in the Riemann sums section, check right for calculating the area under the curve using the right endpoints method. Go to display, and Maple will then show five, five rectangles estimating the area under the curve and the approximation turns out to be having an area of 25.680. Keep this number in mind as we will come across it in our second example. As a note on the side, you can also click Animate and Maple will try to demonstrate the reduction in the error in estimating the area under the curve. Example 2 is pretty much the exact same thing as example 1, except that we won't be using the Riemann sums tutor to estimate the area under the curve. This time, we'll be using first principles and showing you how to use Maple to evaluate sums. So it's the same question, but broken down into two parts this time. Part A, estimate A of 5 which is to estimate the area under the curve using five rectangles using the right endpoints. In part B, write the equation for the exact area under the curve using the limit on the Riemann sum. So let's first do part A. Estimate A of five using the right endpoints. Step one, determine the width of the subinterval. Let's first define a few constants. You have to be in math mode. There are five rectangles, and this is how we define a constant. n colon equals 5, and hit enter. Similarly, we're going to define the rest of our constants. The function begins at a equals 1 and ends at b equals 4. The width of the subinterval can be denoted by delta x. You can find the delta in the miscellaneous palette. Click on the delta and type in x and define it to equal 1 over n, right arrow, b minus a, close bracket, enter. And so the width of the subinterval is 3 fifths. Step two, define the function, as usual, in math mode. 
you can define the function by using the expression palette. and click on the function definition over here and the function definition will appear modify it to be a function of as a function of x and we know our function f of x is equal to x squared enter and now define the ith right endpoint x sub i is equal to a plus i times delta x. Now you can quickly just copy and paste the delta x there and hit enter. And that's exactly what it is. It begins at x equals 1 or a equals 1 plus three-fifths times i. Next, write the Riemann sum for n equals 5 using the expression palette. Click on the summation sign. Right now we're at the letter i. Press tab and start the index at 1. Hit tab again and you can modify the end value. We want to estimate the area under the curve using five rectangles. So press five, press tab again. The next step is substitute one plus three fifths i in place of x i. So now that we're at the function, type f of x i should be there. We can pull a really neat trick. Highlight the right side of xi, 1 plus 3 fifths i, and drag it into the, the brackets there. Close bracket. Multiplied by the width of the subinterval. Again, you can simply copy and paste it there. And then using the context menu, you can go to evaluate and display inline. And in a fraction, it equals 642 over 25. Context menu again, approximate, and click five to approximate it to five digits. And you can see again that through first principles, we have achieved the same answer, 25.680, just like the way we uh, got it through the Riemann sums method. In a new worksheet, we will do part B of the question, which was to write the equation for the exact area under the curve using the limit on the Riemann sum. The first step is to be in math mode. We have to determine the width of the subinterval. And this can be done by defining a few constants. We already had done this before, but let's do it all over again so we know how to do this question from scratch. The lower limit was a colon equals 1. That's how we define a constant. And the upper limit was b equals 4. And the subinterval width can be denoted by delta x and the delta we get from the miscellaneous palette so click on delta x colon equals 1 over n and in brackets type b minus a enter the next step is to define the function using the expression palette let's scroll up to the expression palette and here's the definition of the function When you press tab, you can go to the right, and we want the function to be in terms of x. And we know f at x is equal to x squared. Enter. Use the limit in the expression palette and write out the formula for the exact area. So the exact area 
we can denote as a equals the limit as n and press tab to go to the right as n goes to infinity the infinity symbol as we know you can go to the common symbols palette as n goes to infinity press tab again we know it's the limit as n goes to infinity of the Riemann sum and that's the exact area under the curve so let's modify these values We want the summation to start from i equals 1. Press tab to go to the function. As f of a plus i times delta x, which you can get from here, copy and paste that. close brackets. So that's the function being evaluated at the height of the sample points. And this is being multiplied by the subinterval width again, which is and, and the product of these two is really just the area of those skinny rectangles. And press enter. And we arrive at the exact area under the curve to be 21 units squared. Thank you for viewing the Maple Student Adoption Program Riemann Sums Approximating the Area Under the Curve video tutorial.